Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Knights of the Eternal Throne, and this is our light side playthrough of the expansion, and we're now going to be making our way over to Stormrider. Now, bear in mind that this is our first taste of Walker action, and hopefully it won't be the last. Oh, do I have to actually pick these up beforehand? No, exactly. So can I... Can you... Oh, 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 never mind. Don't have to click on it. <laughs> Mandalorian strike team moving on the shrine. May the force serve you, Commander. I find it so amusing that I actually forgot that it was literally moving into the green zone instead of clicking on it. But the thing is, is that the other walkers, no spoilers really, but there are other walkers later on. And those walkers, you can literally just click on them and then you, you go into the cockpit so it's actually kind of a bit weird that they decided to scrap the whole green circle thing so I, I don't know anyway let's do our amazing rocket damage oh yes that's what you get okay so I'm just gonna walk over here and do some little stompy there we go the stomp is very very minuscule with this particular walker on the others not so much so you'll see you'll get to see those a little bit later on but apparently I'm going to need to reach the Shrine of Healing and it might take me a little bit of time because obviously, you know, they like they like to stretch things out a little bit and it is quite fun to run around in your own walker and deal so much damage that nothing can hope to stop you. Ah, here we go. We are meeting up with a Voss Commando. Hopefully we can help them out a little bit. I thought I'd see Voss and Gormak fighting together. The more Valen terrorizes the galaxy, the stronger her enemies become. Even war has a silver lining. Why aren't you advancing on the shrine? We know him, the handsome chum, Visagore Kilomba. Many run for the shrine, all die. Hiding is the only choice. I'll draw their fire. When the warships strike, make a run for the shrine. I come the bomb at Tamsalgoriti. Sorry about the holdup, Commander. Miss me? Thanks for the rescue, Koth. I should have known you'd make a big entrance. Couldn't let the gravestone miss all the action. We've got a date with Valen's warships. Take care of yourself down there. Looks like we got a change of plans. To the Shrine of Healing! Well, I must say, it is actually really nice to have Koth on our side this time, because previously in Zane Ash's series, he's not actually very helpful. So, that's that's kind of a bit of a shame. But, I'm going to try and use my amazing gravity mines here, and try and bring those guys down, and hopefully kill them. Come on, kill them. Yes. Kill them. Fire. 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 There we go. That is what we like to see, and... Maybe I can actually kill two with one stomp and another. There we go. Yes, unfortunately these shielded enemies are only killable with stomp. Now, the amusing thing about these shielding enemies is that these are this is the only time in the entire expansion that you see them. And I'm just like, what, 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 why? I, it must be because they decided, hey, you know what? These enemies are way too annoying to, you know, put in for the entirety of the expansion, but look at how cool this is though. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Missiles going off everywhere, explosions, and amazing, amazing death all in front of you. And oh, it seems we've already arrived at the boss, which is the Talon of Isaacs, which is one of the special, special walkers. 
that the Eternal Empire has at their disposal, and we're going to take it on in just a second. Let's do it. Okay, so how, how do I kill this? Well, I suppose I should use my, my missiles, or... Oh, we should probably avoid that. Should I use my missiles, or should I use my regular attack? I actually don't know whether the missiles are actually better. Are they? No, it's resisting those. Oh, it's got a shield, so I have to basically go up and stomp it then. Or not, as the case may be. Apparently, I just have to kill these. Okay, so... Oh, okay, got it. So, it gets a shield just randomly, and then you just have to kill the adds. And then it just starts killing you again, and it's annoying, and all terrible manner of things are happening. So, I guess we'll just shoot at it normally for a bit. And avoid the heavy siege cannon. Oh, I've actually just worked out that you can use missiles and your main cannon at the same time. Yeah. You would think that I would have worked that out way, way, way before, but... I just noticed it wasn't going on cooldown when you use the ability. The shrine is ours. Let's find Senya and Arkin before it's too late. Yeah, let's do that, Zaylin. Come on. Let's head into the Shrine of Healing. Come on, Thoron. Let us let us move. I'm sure you're gonna be very, very helpful very soon. So let's Let's move on. Ah, here we go. We're gonna be speaking to Senya soon, and I think we're gonna come to a nice resolution, perhaps. This should be the place. Where's Senya? I'm here. I want to trust you, Senya. Convince me to help your son. The Emperor you once fought is no more. I can sense the good in him. Am I interrupting? Valen. Quiet, mother. I wish I'd buried you with the last of your loyal knights and old Mantel. But then I never would have tracked you back to Arkin. Now you can die in each other's arms. You're better than this. You're always saying that. And you're always wrong. Outlander. Why don't we crack open that head of yours so father can come out to play? My child makes a mockery of herself. I know the pain Valkorion must have inflicted on you. But killing him won't heal your scars. I have no scars! Oh, sorry I have to miss the family reunion, but I've sent you all a gift. I'll see you soon, mother. What are you waiting for? The fleet has encountered minor complications. Wow! The gravestone dilutes our firepower, but we can compensate. Do it! We need to work together. Hold Valen off, and I'll cleanse Arkin's rage. Then we'll join your fight. I know, my son. If he regains his strength, he will annihilate you and Valen in his campaign to retake the throne. Please, Outlander. If Arkin isn't healed, he'll turn against us all. You need to trust me. Go to your son, Senya. Ensure that he's healed, and I'll hold off Valen's forces as long as I can. You won't regret this. Lana, take your Mandalorians and protect the shrine. Senya's counting on us. 
Oh yes, uh, we're just gonna stick our hand through our cloth there because apparently the cloth is completely clippable, I suppose you could call it. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'm actually really interested to see how the path from the dark side diverges and how the light side's gonna play out because I personally feel, I, I did state this in a comment on the previous episode, I personally feel like the light side is probably going to have a bunch more diversity and depth to it and maybe even a little bit better writing as well. I'm not entirely sure because usually, you know how the dark side is, it's usually I'm going to kill you in many many ways and so on and so forth. Whereas the light side there's always seeming to be a little bit of a, a difference there. Now what I do believe I think they should add, maybe in the next expansion, maybe in something in the future, I don't know. But I think they should definitely add something for non-Force users, because all of this doesn't really make that much sense if you're playing a smuggler or a bounty hunter or something like that. I personally feel like they should add something that is either credit-based or honor-based or something along those lines, and that would come up instead of light versus dark, it would be light versus honor versus dark you know that kind of thing so it would be th a three-pronged assault instead of something that is just kind of a bit two-dimensional and while i really love the conversation choices i personally feel like there should be a little bit extra a little bit extra for those you know for those of us that actually would like to play a bounty hunter or something along those lines in these expansions but it just doesn't make sense i mean yes i think it probably would be enjoyable because obviously you are interacting with various companions like you know there are a, a number of smuggler companions still available a uh, number of bounty hunter companions obviously Torian and various things like that and it just would be really cool to see those other options because even though yes okay you can play a dark side bounty hunter you can play a light side smuggler and so on and so forth I still personally feel that these, you know, quote-unquote force-related options are potentially kind of a bit immersion-breaking, but I do realize that it is a huge undertaking and maybe a bit too much to ask for. Hurry! Patience. And saying that, saying that it's immersion breaking, I don't think is that harsh because that if you think about it, we're going up against, I mean, yes, I know, smugglers and, and Imperial agents and all that, they're used to going up against Jedi, they're used to going up against Sith and all that sort of thing, but in, in reality, would you really think that a very powerful Sith Lord would die to a smuggler? I don't know. I don't know about that. I mean, there's the, there, there, that's kind of, see, that's the thing, if you take the logic and you think about it logically then obviously some of it is not going to make sense but that uh, does that really spoil the enjoyment i don't think it does i don't think it spoils the enjoyment at all i actually think that the game is really fun and even though the combat system is very very simple and you know can be quite easy or tedious however you want to look at it i actually i actually really like the game as a whole and i think that the only thing that they could do to make it even better would be to add damage, you know, like combat damage, you know? I, I don't know whether you know what I mean about that, but the point is, when you slice something with a lightsaber, like for example, th th this is a droid, right? This sky trooper is a droid. I personally feel like it should have damage scaling, so when you hit something, it actually does show up on the enemy's armor. I think that would be fantastic. That would be a really, really cool addition. Maybe they're thinking of doing that. I don't know whether the engine is capable of doing that. But I just think that would be awesome because you can imagine the amount of strikes that I'm doing on this 
droid right here, I would have already sliced it into bits, surely. I need him! No! There is not enough time. No! Take me! Do whatever you must! Just save my son! The burning star of Isaacs bathes the sea in light. Feel the peaceful warmth, touch the darkest night. Calm your angry heart beneath the waves of fate. of Skyva wash away your Now, isn't that an amazing alternate sort of event? I think that's really cool. Now, I know that in Knights of the Fallen Empire, there wasn't very many divergent storylines. If you chose light side or you chose dark side, didn't really make that much difference. Minor changes. Whereas that, that cutscene we've just seen, that was a really, really welcome change. And I hope that Bioware continues to do things like that because that's exactly what I want to see. I want to see my choices making a difference instead of just being like, oh, I went left instead of going right. Oh, that just means I get to see a tree instead of a lamppost and something like that, you know? That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. Next time we're going to be planting explosive charges on the hallway pillars. So I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.